been Stay like this for the video. You know, look really sexy the whole time. Like, I really lost a lot of weight. Like, my like ponytail. Yeah. Hmm. And then I'll do like that pose. Like, yes, this girl. Hello. Hmm. Yes. There's nothing like. Chilling with my girls, just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up Divas and Divas? So it's your girl and today's video of course is going to be another product review you guys. So do you like my shirt? Like listen, I love it. You know, represent. I don't really want to move too much because listen. I'm really trying to put this off the shoulder so that way it could be like really really sexy you know you can see my, my shoulders it's like when women have their shoulders out they look really really sexy you know so I don't know the shirt hopefully it stays down like that or it was really supposed to be like an off the shoulder shirt one side but then I started like feeling myself on camera I don't know if it's the ponytail that I'm rocking Girl. Okay. Yeah, like I was saying about the shirt. So I got it at the thrift store. It did not come like this, of course. It was just a regular t-shirt. And so I cut the neck off. Because you guys know, I don't really like too many t-shirts all the way like tight on my neck. Like, gives me the heebie-jeebies. No, seriously. So I cut it off and I wanted it to be a one-shoulder shirt. My mother told me not to buy this when she was here. Because she was here when I got it. She was like, that is so outdated. Nobody does that. Nobody wears that. Like, Nobody wears this. I don't care what everybody else wears. Shit. It's all about me. Okay. So anyway, I wasn't even going to do this video today because I'm really not feeling that great. I got me some medication. Not because I'm crazy, but because my tooth is really killing me. Like, I got to get another root canal. Like, so I have been really under the weather. Like, super duper sick. You'll probably hear me say that in like two other videos because I had this shirt on. And so I was trying to tell you guys, like, I had to pull it together today to get these videos done. So, you guys, you know, I was sent some stuff, but <laughs> yes, one of the things I did buy myself, two of the things, okay? But you know, I love to get stuff in the mail. Like, who don't like to get free stuff in the mail, okay? Like, seriously. Who don't like to get free stuff but I wanted to start off with this one thing that I got in the mail which I am loving and I didn't want to wear it yet because I wanted to give it some time okay to the video that's when I wanted to wear it and they had emailed me many times and um, I would start to respond and then I would you know what I'm saying like it would be late at night when I would check my email sometimes and when I would get the email from them I would just be in the middle of emailing and just be like sleeping you ever like fall asleep while you email somebody or respond back you'd be like this I'll be in my bed and the next thing you know the, the, the message is God knows what happens I don't even remember the next morning so it never gets sent to them it just goes in a draft folder and I'm thinking all about it so that's what happened so luckily that they're so like persistent and sent me another email this is not really working out in my favor for me to be sexy right about now so can you just at least be sexy on one damn shoulder oh there that's that's how it was supposed to be so if you guys ever heard of them they're called so feel so feel okay They have a jewelry website and you know something they've been around for some years and I have seen them really really like it what's the right word for I don't really know what the right word is but I have seen them like really change it evolve okay they have went from like I don't know the, the jewelry that I used to see on the website when they first started out wasn't like to my liking so I would never reply to their emails then either 
but they have really evolved over the time so and they are also known for these nice little nameplate necklaces you know so they told me that I could pick out either two nameplate necklaces or three charm bracelets a girl went for the nameplates so I had to definitely surprise my daughter Tati with one but they're called Sophia New York I always thought this was like somewhere else, honestly. So I got two nameplated necklaces. So, so they're like 18 karat, either 18 or 24 karat gold plated. But they have like an amazing discount. So you definitely have to check them out. I mean like, if you want to spend buku bucks, then I guess you're not going to go on this website. But if you're thrifty like me, you'll definitely want to check them out. So they did send me two nameplate necklaces and I got one little velvet pouch which is so cute you can put up to 12 characters on the necklace so her necklace says Tati and Tinky okay and it's so cute I like this because it's so pretty and it has like extra little pieces right here where you could actually hook them in but they're actually really really cute I think they're made so well they're a little bit smaller than I would have thought but they're delicate they're feminine they're not all gaudy and stuff this is something you could definitely wear every day so I thought this would be like a really cute surprise for her Tinky and Tati you know and like I said it was only 12 characters but each one of them come in this plastic bag and it'll say your name and such on the front of it and mine's bam what does that say hello it says april and john you know what i'm saying like you know when you get a man you like really happy you want everybody in the world to know you got you a man so yes isn't that so cute and i had just enough letters as well for my initials or our names together I guess it was meant to be like seriously and I'm so glad it's long and not a choker because a girl's neck is just peeking through like literally like seriously I'm just getting a neck so I don't need anything choking me around mine so like, it has three like extensions on here like three little circles where you can put the actual lobster claps to you know hook it if you want it shorter tighter it actually has four if you want it shorter you know longer whatever you want a choke around your neck you know it all depends so i'm going to put it probably like on the the second one to the let's see okay why well, they got the lobster glass on this side like hello a girl like it on the right side that's what i'm used to like you know now, doesn't that look so cute on me like hello but I like it cuz it looks really cute and it's all dainty and stuff now somebody be like what does that say Nanya they be like what is Nanya Nanya business <laughs> no it's really cute I like it I did think it was a little bit bigger I'm not really sure why I thought that you know pictures can be deceiving but they have been known for this um, nameplate thing they had they always advertise it as Carrie you know sex in the city Carrie she's the one that had a nameplate necklace like this and so it went viral or you know everybody wanted one but the funny thing about it was Carrie from Sex in the City you didn't start this trend like us folks us people of color we the ones that had like the big gold jewelry with our names and stuff on it she came out with the dainty version but the dainty version is just as cute and I like the things that they offer on their website plus they got like an amazing discount so you girls if you want something with your name on it make sure it's no more than 12 characters unless you want to abbreviate or you want your man name on it then go ahead it took about two weeks to get this in the mail and I was really psyched about that so I do love the quality this would be definitely something that I wear every day hopefully it don't turn but I'll leave all the information down below for Sophia and you can check them out. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of them. It's really fairly cheap for this. So yes, you guys, make sure that you check them out. I think I have a discount code. Whatever I have, I'll definitely post it in the link. So that way you guys can get something just as nice. Hello. Moving on. So then let me tell you guys, I went to um, Walmart to get some makeup because I wanted some makeup you know I wanted some makeup but I needed some foundation because I realized that that kiss brand foundation the kiss brand no blemish foundation for people with blemishes was giving me blemishes like I was breaking out all over here every time I will wear that foundation so I want to find something new I didn't even know what I was gonna get they got NYX at the Walmart now with a little display and stuff people get all crazy because they see NYX at Walmart like they act like that's Mac and stuff like girl please that's drugstore makeup anyway what is wrong with y'all and they like a little bit overpriced to me if you ask me I had bought this before and then it just didn't work out in my favor so I took it back to Walgreens and then this was like the only thing that I could find in Walmart that actually was my complexiones you know what I'm saying like I tried out Rimmel and Rimmel stuff is like 
no it's like a, they have like a rosy pink undertones so I decided to try the Milani again um, the conceal plus per, um, perfect to one foundation concealer this time I got the color tan and I really do actually like it because it gives you full coverage you don't have to keep building it up this is just with one application okay and it may be not full coverage because you can still see my freckles but I like it because it gives me the right enough coverage and it's like the exact color I didn't have to mix it like I normally do so it actually did it really did work out in my favor so I I'm feeling this I like this Milani like yes I like the pump on it plus it was like nine dollars eight dollars like you cannot beat that versus forty dollars like some of the foundation that I buy is forty dollars which is like like ridiculous like I don't really spend want to spend forty dollars though I have one which is by um, Etsy Lord Etsy Lord of the Longwear, which I absolutely love I love that foundation it just it's perfect coverage and it does last like throughout the day I love it it gives me like this flawless look however I'm thinking that the Milani is definitely going to take the place of that because for one it's only nine bucks like I was really ready to spend like forty to forty two dollars who wants to spend forty two dollars on some foundation so yeah definitely not going to be spending $42 anytime in the near future I like it so far today was actually the first day that I put it on and I loved it I absolutely love it this one thing I hope I have my receipt because I want my five dollars back salon perfect this right here is some pure D garbage so this is the salon perfect on point trip, trip tip brow maker it's supposed to trip tip for micro blading effect mimics natural brow hairs this thing is a bunch of bull crap I was so excited to use this first thing I did was I just drew the line underneath with my own brush and then I went in with this this stuff is like using a sharpie on your eyes the pencil or the actual marker is like the the, the tip pen the pit the whatever you want to call it the felt tip is so like marker like and it just goes on like marker it's like definitely like marker it's wet like marker it looks just like marker like it's a shame like I mean like there are some that probably love their eyebrows to look like this but it just comes out really wet it just comes out like marker and there's no way that this is going to ever look like microblading like you look like you just drew your eyebrows on with your kids marker like you couldn't find your eyebrow pencil for the day I'm definitely going to be looking for my Walmart receipt this was definitely a miss for me have you guys ever tried this product it was $4.98 at Walmart I know there are other different brands that do this too but honeys let me tell you something this was so unworthy of my purchase like I would normally throw it over my shoulder but I need my money back so I'm just going to put it here now you guys know how much I love Octoly. I love Octoly, okay? If you guys are not aware of who Octoly is, this is a really great website where you can pick products to review, okay? So you get products in return that you would do an honest review or, you know, post about them on your social media. So basically it is you earn coins um, or tokens for each item you want to grab. I think you start off with like five or six and they'll say you've seen something that was like, um, Milani on the website you would you know you would request it and you would basically give them your proposal of why you wanted to try out their product or what you were going to do with it and they would either decline or accept you and once they accept you they'll let you know when your product ships out and in return they just ask you to do an honest review on the product okay and just put in like cer certain tags in the actual body of the description or on your social media so I love Oxley because it does allow you to try out great items you do get mostly always full sample products please so this time I was gifted by Givenchy is their vinyl gloss extreme shine gloss so this one is called gangsta nude okay I'm not sure if you guys are aware but I do use their setting powder that was also gifted to me from Octoly and I absolutely love it like it's got this like very very light purple tone to it but it works for me it doesn't make me look ashy which is great because I have used Anastasia not Anastasia excuse me Sasha buttercup and all those and it's always made me look ashy but this one by Givenchy 
never has made me look ashy so I absolutely love it and like I said that was also gifted to me so this is the packaging of this lip gloss which is absolutely cute okay so it has like this rigid kind of like rigid rigid kind of like bow, bow ribbon effect and it has their name right here which is also really nice it also has like a glass look up about it which is just really pretty the color you guys know me so well I love colors like this and like I said it's called gangsta nude and it has the doe foot and even the applicator is clear and see-through which is great mm, it smells really good so I don't really wear too many glosses but you know it's trending again so a girl likes to keep up with the trends and plus it makes my look come together like it makes it really pop plus it's just very light and it looks really really sexy with my look today funny thing it actually goes with the lipstick or the matte liquid lipstick that I have on underneath so thank you Givenchy um, on a scale of 1 to 10 I would definitely give this a 10 the packaging is amazing it's really really pretty it's sleek and I like the gloss so it's not sticky you ever put on some gloss and it's so sticky your lips will be like well, this doesn't give you like that sticky feel so I do like the gloss because I'm not getting like a very sticky like my lips are stuck together kind of like look that's not attractive so this is though this is really cute like so if you want to get gangsta definitely check out Givenchy's gangsta nude gloss this is extra extreme shine so the next item that was also gifted to me by Optali and Kevin Aquan was the Molten Lip Color, which is theirs. And I'm excited about this because it's kind of like in the same color scheme. And this one is called Violet Quartz. And this is also a lip gloss too. Look at the packaging. It's very sleek and very pretty. The color is so pretty like it looks like it's like galaxy like I can see like the glitter in it and all that good stuff so let's try that one out this one is called violet quartz Ooh, oh snap <gasps> now this is like look, look. <sighs> This definitely looks like something like galactic. It's very like metallic, kind of like orbit like, you know, holographic. Definitely holographic. Did you see when I put it on? It gave me like this holographic look. And maybe you guys can see it, but honeys, this is like some popping lip gloss, okay? Like, girl, you could see me. I'm liking the both of these but this color is really really nice and different as, as long as it's not like a lipstick then it's cool because it's a gloss so I'm cool with that I don't really like purple lipsticks I'm not a purple lipstick wearer but I would definitely wear this I really hope that I didn't have lipstick on my teeth the whole time that I was talking to you guys because that's really embarrassing. So you can definitely check out Oxley. Like I said, I was gifted both of these items from their website in exchange for an honest review. And so far, I really do like these. Like I said, I don't wear a lot of lip glosses, though I have a nice collection. It's trending again. So, honey, a girl wants to be part of the trends, okay? So then the next item that I got was from a young lady who follows me and she has an eyeglass, an eye shade website which is called Shadeitude Eyewear. So she did send me three pair of glasses. You can follow her on Instagram, Facebook and also her website. Each pair of glasses comes with these cute little pouches so I did get three of these. I was able to pick out the glasses that I wanted. This is going to be part of my eyeglass collection. I can't remember what these were called but I will definitely list them all. All down below but she had these in different colors like hello aren't these so freaking cute like seriously they got like the bling going all around them like I know I know I like to be extra girl yes hunty she had these in like a, an array of colors I think there's like five or six different colors don't give me the lion but honeys the gems on these are really nice size and it's just well put together and I like them like girl. The fact that the tints are not so dark when you look through but you cannot really see my eyes. So these were so cute. I love big oversized glasses. Um, they have to be oversized because I have like a really long head. If you have like a really long head you have to have like oversized glasses. Like that's the only way it's going to work out for you. And she had I think like four colors of these. I love the color of the lenses. Aren't these freaking cute, honey? 
cute I like this 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 kind of reminds me of like a cat eye look but it's cute though it's cute mommy it's so like oh look and my lip gloss is popping I got on a chain necklace girl with big hoop earrings I feel like I'm back in New York again puppy these are absolutely really cute as well so then the last pair you know I'm trying to be bougie on a budget stunting okay BAM these are like Gucci baby I'm definitely feeling these these are like my favorite she had like four different colors in these and I got the clear ones with the red and green cuz you know it looks like it's Gucci baby it looks like it's Gucci and I thought these were so freaking cute like hello what they are so tinted like you cannot see anything inside but I can see perfectly well and it gives off like this great color it's not so it's not too dark I cannot stand with sunglasses are just like so dark and you cannot see through them um so I don't like when they're like that because that just drives me insane this right here is my favorite pair I love them you definitely have to take um, check her website out shaded tooth eyewear I will post all of her info below I was very pleased with my glasses and so you make sure that you guys check it out you also get a pouch um with each glass that you purchase these are my faves what do you guys think of these leave down below which ones were your faves also i did buy me some lashes from shop miss a i will definitely post your stuff below they have all makeup for a dollar so for a dollar make me holla but you guys did see i did a review for them like a few weeks ago but this time i bought my own stuff like my own lashes because i needed some lashes i didn't really get anything different i just get the same ones that i always wear which are called the alexias i love them and they're only a dollar i normally get them in a one pack and they're a dollar but if you buy them in a six pack i think you you spend you save like 20 cents I know it's not a lot but you know it is what it is um these are the Alexis which I absolutely love these are the only ones that I wear if I do purchase some from shop miss a these are absolutely my favorites now I don't have them on today because I ran out and I had on their scarlet so these will definitely be on my lids for like a minute because you know the strips and their individuals that I combine together and they will I, they will last me for like two weeks I do have a tutorial on how to do that but it just gives me like a fuller look I look more youthful I don't want to go around looking like Kermit they're very dramatic but not over dramatic so if you're in the need for some eyelash strips definitely check out shop miss a I'll post their information below you guys know I'm like a huge fan of the walking dead okay I love the walking dead show my husband surprised me with walking dead collectibles now first of all I don't know what made him think that he could just sit on my shelf but we're gonna put him so I have the 10 inch Negan which I just got I'm gonna actually take these out the box because I do have Barbies and I did do a Barbie collectibles video like a couple years ago I have like about 80 Barbies and I never take them out the box but these I'm definitely going to take out so this is the infamous Negan and these are just amazing they are um, 10 inch 10 inch dolls and they do come with like extra pieces and they also come with a stand so I'm really excited about this I think these are so nice and he sent me Glenn all right and I'm so mad because Glenn is dead and so Negan you're gonna sit on the shelf next to Glenn like we can't even Mumsy said why would he do that but you know Negan is like a villain and you have to have him as well even if you hate him you have to have him because I have was crying like he was my husband when he died like I was so distressed about it like really hurt about the whole thing and one of my ex favorites like he used to be my favorite but he is no longer is Rick Grimes okay so I'm not like a huge fan of Rick's anymore he just seems like he's a wimp to me he's not doing what he's supposed to do I love Daryl Daryl is like the man Rick is kind of like an on ego tripping thing um you know I guess he's lost a lot he's lost his wife he's lost his son he's lost a lot but but he needs to get it together but so yes I also have the 10 inch Rick Grimes and this is the deluxe action figure edition because they're normally not this big but I'm like super excited about this because I finally got like some collectibles that I can actually look at every day and I love the walking dead like I am a huge 
fan of The Walking Dead. Like, for real? For real. Okay. Okay, so the last items that I'm going to show you guys, I'm not even going to try them on because it was supposed to be like a haul. But, uh, honeys, where am I fitting this stuff at? Like, I was very unpleased with the clothing from a company called Fairy Season. And I actually did a video for them before. And I got a few things that were great, but they ran pretty small. But, you know, it's kind of like a hit or miss. Um, and, and the thing about it is you look at their measurement charts. Like, I tell you to look at the measurement charts all the time on, like, my Zafu hauls. But, you know, it's not working out. So, this was one of the things that I got. And it was supposed to be in a size. I was supposed to get a size, I don't know, extra large 2X. Whatever. This thing is, like, humongous. It's supposed to be a tank top, but it's more or less, it's not going to fit me, okay? It's definitely just not going to fit me, which sucks. Because I thought it was really, really cute on the website. The whole cut of it and the style of it was nothing like the website to me. It didn't look like the actual website. This more more or less is uh, kind of big all the way and funny thing I got two of these um, on the website it actually looked a lot more sheer and it just I guess you know it's supposed to be like a shirt type of thing I don't know um, and it just yeah it just really wasn't flattering and it's humongous it's a size extra large which I was supposed to get because that's what it said and I was like praying to God like oh my god I hope it fits it's way too big and the material to me didn't look like it should like from the website it's so pretty the color is so pretty and and such but I really wish that I would have a dryer so maybe I could shrink these it was not working out for you girl I also got this one here which seems like it's pretty cute it's like a kimono type thing and if you want to wear this to like the beach or this shirt right here I thought was really cute um but that it's probably going to be too big I don't know but it still looks really cute so I mean like I love roses and it's sheer kind of like so you can definitely wear um you would have to well it's up to you you know wear what you want to wear then I got this other kimono. I don't know why I got all these kimonos. Probably because everything else on the website didn't look like it could freaking fit me. So it was like, you know what, girl, get what you can, all right? Um, but you could definitely wear these as bathing suit cover-ups, like I'm saying. Their size 11 sandals were like a size 9. My feet felt like they was like stuffed in there and they was like sausages in those flip-flops. Like, um... They weren't even flip-flops, but they were sandals. And I swear to y'all, if my feet would have busted out in them things, okay? So then I got a two-piece because I just knew that it was going to fit. And it was a size large because that's the size it told me to get. And it was a high-waisted one. Girl, please, where am I putting this at? This thing is too small. Like, I, there's no way on God's green earth. Where... And so the last item that I did receive from them because I didn't get everything and I'm not really sure that I cared to um, was this romper. Like I ran out of ideas and I just figured, oh, you know, this will probably look cute. It's just the floral print romper. It looked like it was really cute. I thought that it would be cute. Who knows? Um, and it, it ended up being too small and too big for my kids. So it was more or less like a waste of my time. The last but not least item. You guys know how much I love this website. And I'm always getting like amazing jewelry from there. Is Happiness Boutique. Okay. Where you can become happy at their boutique. So they're located in Berlin, Germany. And they have free shipping. So keep that in mind in case you guys like Oh my god. It's never. Now, I'm so basic, and I don't know. I like statement jewelry, but I'm so basic that I don't really want to have too much statement jewelry. Like, I have, like, these really nice necklaces, but a girl don't go nowhere. So, I mean, I just try to find stuff that is really kind of, like, something that I can wear all the time. So, when I seen this necklace set, I was just like, oh, this is so shooky dooky now. I thought it was really, really cute. Even though I'm not, like, a huge fan of double-deckered necklaces or double entwined necklaces this one I thought was really cute because it was definitely something that you can wear every day plus I did not know that you can detach these and you can wear them as singles so a girl did just that I wore this one right here which is this gold this this diamond one alone 
I love this freaking necklace set and I wanted you guys to see this because for one you know how I feel about my keloid show so I'm very self-conscious about that so with theirs this one I don't have it in the right hook but it actually cover my keloid which makes me feel so unself-conscious about it that I was like so pleased with this one like it is so pretty and this one is just as pretty too so I absolutely love this one because like look at it it just fits perfectly especially if you put it in the correct hook like I should have done and I just love it because it's dainty plus you can definitely wear these apart which is great because I like I said I don't really like double necklaces because they always end up tangling but I thought these were so cute together but hunties you can wear them apart I thought you got a two-in-one necklace hey yes girl yes now I am like really gangsta new because I got all this jewelry on so also I did get two pair of earrings and let me tell you something like I said I'm so basic I do actually have these already but I have them in gold and I wear them all the time y'all just not today um, because I was going for that New York look so I wear them all the time and I absolutely love these big huge hoop teardrop earrings so I decided to get them in silver because listen hunties if it works and it's not broke then why fix it like seriously and I love the size of these like they work out just right for your girl and like the gold ones like this I always wear them and plus on top of that their jewelry does not turn these don't turn like that so these you can wear all the time and then my last pair that I have and I swear to you guys you guys I'm thinking I already have these in gold as well and I'm thinking I do and I'm, I'm, I'm very sure that I have these earrings already um yeah I'm pretty sure that I do. And they're this these double hoop earrings, but they're so freaking cute. Do you guys see that? Look at them. Um, Shaniqua. Look. Are these cute or what? Now look at that. Yes, doll. Yes. You can definitely check out Happiness Boutique and Sophia New York. They have some really nice, amazing, like, costume jewelry that doesn't tarnish and doesn't change. And it's affordable. And make sure you check out Shaded Tude, okay? I wear because, listen, hunties. I mean, I'm fine, y'all. Do I look cute in these or what, girl? And if you want some really cool products to review and exchange, um, to be gifted to review, then you can definitely check out Oxley. I'll post their information below. And don't mess with those microblading eyeliners, eyebrow liners. Just not worth it at all. Just not worth it. I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up. I'm sorry if it was so long, and then I'm not sorry. Sorry, but not sorry. But I love you guys. I'll see you in a soon-to-come video. Bye.